YouTube, this your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So, the game is getting a new VH1 reality show called She Got Game, in which he's getting other people to put him on to new women because I guess his marriage then all the way fell out so damn soon. In which, I'm all for that, man. If you can get paid to get you some new chicks and shit, man, do that shit. But anyway, on to today's EP review, man, and it's to the dream crown. And you know what? This is what I love about music because for quite some time, man, the dream has been on my shit list, so to say, because he did some shit in his personal life that I really just can't get behind, like how he was trying to commit suicide and all that shit. I'm like, that type of shit makes me just go away from you. But yet, when you make great music, then it'll always bring people back. Just like great music will bring your career back from the fucking grave. The songs All I Need and Fruition Man, them joints is beautiful, man. To the point, I definitely recommend people to go on and buy those, including the Prime 2. Prime, which is the intro, it's not on the level of those two songs, man, but it's pretty damn good and also worth the purchase as well. But considering that the dream is signed to Capitol Records and such right now, kinda had to expect a bunch of commercial ass tracks on here as well. Like that, that's my shit featuring T.I. and I say these bands, man. You kinda come to expect labels would push artists to do that, but I was kinda hoping that they would go away from that for the dream and let him just do him, make the best music possible for the fans that he still has now, because we all know he's not going to be the hottest singer in the game and shit right now. His time to be that has already passed. Like those commercial songs take away that potential that you would want to buy the entire thing. So instead, I recommend people to go ahead, buy them individual tracks, man. You will not be fucking disappointed. I give this EP man an 8 out of 10. But anyway on to today's article from downloadpass.com and today's article is about acknowledging your mistakes because this is a key issue that a lot of people, not just rappers, but everyone has to fucking do. Because I know dudes who have been committing the same fucking mistake for like 20 fucking years and still haven't learned. They still haven't acknowledged that, okay, this is fucking wrong for me to do. Let me try to do something better. Like, a lot of people try to blame all of their mistakes on other people. Like, if this guy didn't come in and fuck up my money, then I would have been successful with this. If this guy didn't come in and not do any work at all, we would have been able to make this damn money. But let's look at reality, man. It's your fault for including including them in something that they could have fucked up. That's just 100% honesty, man. Acknowledge that you fucked up by trying to bring these people in. Instead, next time, do it all your fucking self, in which that's where a lot of shit has to go. You have to do it all your damn self anyway. See, without acknowledging your mistakes, man, you are doomed to commit them again and again and again, and some people never fucking understand that. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.